Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are doing well. So yeah, today we're gonna do a fragrance review of some super interesting niche fragrances. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the packaging that the fragrances come in. You slide it open like this and you get your fragrance on the inside. So this one is actually a cherry rose fragrance and this one is a feminine fragrance, but the rest of the fragrances that I'm gonna be reviewing are masculine fragrances. So yeah it's a beautiful like light kind of fruity floral fragrance smells very classy very likable and crowd pleasing yeah it's really good the rest are very very interesting unique fragrances so let's get into those ones okay so let's start with the first one and this one is actually a very interesting one and apparently this one is a 2500 year old formula so let's try this one it's like you know after it rained in the forest that's kind of what i'm smelling yeah, that's very interesting. It smells like um, like wood shavings. It's kind of like fresh yet humid, like that kind of a wet, woody, fresh smell. This is definitely something that I can picture people smelling way back then because it does have like a vintagey feel. It's more like just an expression of a moment in time, a scent, it's very unique. So being able to smell something that they smelled such a long time ago i think that's really cool that a fragrance can transport you through time like that next we have an oud fragrance let's see Ooh, whoa this one is very oud it also has an animalic touch like i'm getting that civet cat kind of a vibe very interesting gosh i don't know like these fragrances are like uber niche let's read the notes italian orange flower italian neroli heart indian jasmine madagascar ylang ylang moroccan rose absolute vietnamese oud indian sandalwood ethiopian civet mask ah i think the civet mask is like that animalic vibe that you get from this one if you want a very strong animalic like a heavy animalic musky scent with oud you should try this one, the Oud Certified Fragrance. Very cherry, rose, chocolate, patchouli. So let's see. Mm, I like this one more. This one to me feels more wearable. You get the cherry, you get the chocolate. It's more sweet. This one I think is more feminine. Like I think it's a feminine fragrance. Yeah, I like this one really nice guys i don't know how i'm gonna feel about this one because i don't think i don't like the note of civet cats it's just too strong and animalic to me so let's see because this one is civet cat chipra so i'm nervous about this one okay okay it's actually not that bad this is a very vintage smell it smells very vintage it has Italian bergamot, Russian clary sage, French lavender. Yes, I can definitely get the lavender. Moroccan rose, absolute. Indian jasmine, Madagascar ylang ylang, Ethiopian civet musk, German musk ketone, and New Zealand ambergris. This one is not that bad. Like I was honestly expecting it to be a bit too much for me. But yeah, it's very vintage. Like if you're looking for something old school, vintage, but animalic, then try this one. Okay, so the next one I'm also kind of stressed about. This one is the Honey Deer Musk. And Deer Musk, that just already sounds like it's going to be very animalic. So let's see what this one is like. Oh my gosh, no. I can't do this one. This one, very musky. Very like that animalic musk. Like I know some people like that, but to me, I'm not there yet. I'm not at that level yet uh this one has russian clary sage italian bergamot indian jasmine madagascar ylang ylang moroccan rose absolute okay so it actually has the same like top and middle notes as the previous one but the base notes is where this differs because this one has siberian deer mask indian sandalwood and ethiopian civet mask wow that is musky and animalic. Oh my gosh. Okay, so next we have Mushin. So let's try this one. Mmm, I, I like this one. 
This one leans a little bit more to being crowd pleasing than the rest of the fragrances. I feel like this one is easier to pull off. The top notes of this one is French apricot, Japanese osmanthus, Sri Lankan cinnamon, Japanese hinoki wood, Japanese incense accord, and the base notes are Indian sandalwood and Vietnamese oud. This one almost has like this slight salted caramel popcorn vibe in it as well, which is quite interesting because it's obviously not in the notes, but yeah, I really like that. I like this one. So this one is definitely a favorite. Next, Canadian Gentleman. Mm. Ooh. Hmm. It almost gives me like that clean barber shop kind of like an aftershave kind of a vibe. This one, ooh, there's something smoky in there as well. Hmm. But yeah, this one to me, it's more close to a regular fragrance, like men's fragrance DNA to me. So this one has English lavender, American sage, Italian bergamot, Canadian cedar. Canadian Pine, Omani Frankincense, and Green Leather Accord. Hmm. So I wonder if it's the leather or the frankincense or maybe the cedar, but something in this almost has like this slight like ashy type of scent to it, which is quite interesting. I feel like it gives the fragrance a fun touch because it gives that fresh, clean, kind of like barbershop fragrance, but with a touch of smoky and leatheriness which definitely makes it very masculine so next up we have golden guy so let's try this Ooh, i like this one hmm very fruity very yummy almost a little bit like tangy like a tangy fruity Ooh, I like this one a lot this one i feel like i would be able to wear this one so this one has oakwood British gin, French apricots, wormwood, Canadian blackberry, French liquor, Virginian tobacco. Hmm. Oh, it's the apricot. Like the apricot is what gives it like that tangy, fruity kind of a vibe. I really like it. Also has that slight banana custard kind of a feel. I actually really like this one. I feel like I could wear this myself. It's like a very like tart, juicy apricot scent with the woody notes. And I think the blackberry also adds to the tartness. I really like this one. Yeah, golden guy. So overall, I would say that my favorite ones are this one, which is the cherry rose. I really enjoy this one. And I also like the golden guy one, which is kind of like the juicy apricot, as well as the mushin one. I also like the Canadian gentleman, just because it's a more familiar DNA, but it does have that touch of smokiness and the leatheriness, which makes it very masculine and a little bit more interesting and adds more depth. All of these fragrances are handcrafted by the perfumer himself. The design, the packaging, the bottles, the fragrances, the scents, everything he does by himself. So thank you to Malef for sending me these fragrances to review and to test out. It was very interesting to try these fragrances. If you enjoyed this video, here is another video that I think you would like as well. And yeah, if you like videos about fragrance, fashion and lifestyle, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I will also link my Instagram if you want to support me on there. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!